Howdy y'all, Andy McCabe here, driving in beautiful gray Portland, Oregon. Came into town to look at a few losses today and tomorrow. Just get her done. Saw a post today that uh, this uh, water damage guy was, was complaining about the number of plumbers and national franchise plumbing outfits that were opening their own emergency services and water damage departments uh, and taking work away as he put it taking work away from from good water companies like himself well what else did you expect somebody some genius said, man, if I go give $50 to a plumber, they're going to give me a referral. They're going to give me these leads. For each one of these leads, I'll give them 50 bucks. And then the next genius says, man, I've got an even better idea. Let's make it $100. And all these geniuses decided to rack, run this What's what's the going rate in your market? Five hundred bucks for a water damage lead? I would guess it's right in there. Five hundred bucks. I've I've heard of them up to a thousand, but that's a lot of money. So, what did you expect? Once you give a couple thousand dollars worth of referrals to a plumber, do you think they're not gonna notice that you don't have a problem paying them that kind of money? for these water damage leads and go, hmm, there must be something to this water damage thing. Let's check it out. It doesn't look that hard. I mean, I see them. They got their fans. They got their extractors. How hard can this be? So I have a hard time feeling sorry for folks that, that are complaining that the water damage mitigation companies of the world created this market and and here's the other thing who is going to stop them it's a free country who is going to stop you from opening your restoration contracting firm even though everyone else in the market doesn't want you there because the market's too saturated I think I said yesterday and I'll say it again the market is never going to be saturated there's never going to be enough service providers because we are in a, a, a global, or at least in the United States, a, a shortage of labor, shortage of, of good, capable labor. So every trade, whether it's water damage or carpentry or electrical or plumbing, everyone is begging for good people because there is not enough service workers to handle the demand. We went through a recession, right? That decimated the trades. And we've come back from the recession, but the trades haven't come back. These, these long apprenticeship programs that people used to get into out of high school as, a, as an alternative to college, people weren't going into the trades in 08, 09, and 10. So where are these workers of the future supposed to come from? We got a labor shortage. We've got Mother Nature giving us a 100-year weather event every three years, causing all kinds of damage. There's never going to be enough people to handle it. So stop complaining about, about Roto-Rooter doing emergency services. Guess what? They were going to do it anyway. And I really don't want to hear it when Home Depot jumps into the mix. Take care of yourself. Stay in your lane. Do good work. And there will always will be work. Or, if you don't like it, get out. Find something better to do with your time. Because water damage is, is not glamorous. It's not easy. And man, it's hard to make money. Really. I'm not just saying it. It is hard to make money. Especially the way things are going. Hopefully, if I have my way, things won't go that way. 
for much longer. We're going to change the industry. But right now, it is what it is. You can't, you can't remake this bed. It's, uh, we got to sleep in it for a while. All right, y'all. Have a great day.